Hello everybody and welcome to one of our how-to guides. Thank you for joining us today. We are going to create a bridal or bridesmaids hand-tied bouquet using Gypsoff Love. The one we've got here today is Snowball. It's one of the large headed varieties and an extra grade, so one that we really recommend. We've also got some Pittosporum Ralphie and these beautiful Miss Piggy Roses. Now we're particularly featuring the Miss Piggy Roses as well as the Jip today because we have an inside story on Porcella Roses who are specialists in growing this particular variety. They only grow Miss Piggy and All for Love and believe it or not, they cut 50,000 roses a day. Can you just imagine how many roses that is? So yeah, we're quite excited today to be using some of Porcella's roses and this particular one is Miss Piggy. Absolutely in vogue colour with that beautiful coral tones. It's quite an unusual rose to describe actually because it has almost an orangey, um, tangerine almost colour to the centre. Peach almost as well. Then going into that coral and there are even hints of pink on the under petal. So a really good intermediate rose as well if you want a combination or you've got that monochromatic feel of peaches and pinks and, and, and um, corals. So that, that's our Miss Piggy. So to use the flowers that I'm using today, your stem count is one bunch of the Pittosporum, four stems of Gypsophila, 15 stems of the roses, and I have a small piece of ribbon here that I'm just going to bind the handle with, a few pins to secure the handle with, and then my usual tools, which are my scissors. I have a 12 millimeter pot tape here, and I also have some twine, um, some um, mossing twine, the natural one, just to bind the stems when I've finished putting it together. So, Keep watching and I hope you enjoy.
So to create a bouquet like this, uh, the one I've created is, is, I would suggest, suitable for a bride. It's, it's quite a substantial bouquet using 15 stems. Um, top tips possibly may be get all your flowers prepared first, strip the stems, get them so that they're ready to put together and then I would itemise them on your bench in front of you so you've got each individual um, variety so that you can select from each one as and when you require them whilst you're making them up. Size-wise, as I said, this I would suggest is suitable for a bride so I've actually used 15 stems here you do need to really take into consideration the size of your bride um, when you're putting a bouquet together. For example, <clears throat> if you have a bride that's sort of four foot nothing and a size zero, you don't want to be making a bouquet that's suitable for a six foot two girl that's a size 30, because bless her heart, she'd be camouflaged. So you kind of have to bear that in mind when you're putting the bouquet together. Obviously, they don't all have to be this size. If you've got a smaller bride, or perhaps you want to do a reduced size for bridesmaids, then you can reduce the stem quantities. So for an adult bridesmaid, if I was using 15 for the bride, for the bridesmaid, I'd probably go for nine or 11. Um, if it's a smaller bridesmaid, a flower girl, or an infant bridesmaid, then I'd probably suggest five or seven roses. Again, depending on the size, and also the dress has an impact as well. So just bear all of those ideas uh, and all of those elements in mind when you're putting it together. The beautiful thing about a hand-tied bouquet is it can be made up the day before. So you could make it up to the stage of the handle and then pop it into a bucket of water overnight. Then on the actual morning of the wedding, you can then finish the handle off with the decorative finish, such as ribbon, pins, anything sparkly maybe that you want to use. So yeah, that, that's a really helpful thing to do. One way to get prepared, especially if you're involved with the wedding yourself. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching us today. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube channel to stay up to date um, with all of our tips and hints and videos. We are um, extolling the virtues of Gyps Software this month, so don't forget to look out for that. Share us with your friends, like us, and obviously comment below, and we'll answer your questions as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, I look forward to joining you again very soon. Bye for now.